So let's start at the beginning, Gemini. The Three of Swords. This is the Affair card. This is the Heartache Betrayal card. This is a heartache of some kind. So this uh, may be involved with your partnership or it may just be missing someone that has passed over. Have your parents passed? Was there somebody close to you that just passed and that you're missing them? I don't see the physical card of death here. So it does feel like it's revisiting um, a heartache from the past that has just been in your mind and in your space for a minute. What crosses you is the emperor, really standing up in your power, realizing everything happens for a reason, um, connecting with your magic, connecting with your integrity. So it does look like you don't really like to wallow too much in sorrow. Um, you're a mover and a shaker, Gemini, and an overthinker. So it does feel like... Um, it's, it's time to get the ball rolling again after visiting this. Um, you know, you can't change the past. That's when we get into kind of that depression, sadness, and we get a little anxious if we have too much energy in, in the future. So it does look like for you, Gemini, staying pre uh, present, staying on track, having your words match the integrity in your heart. You do have a lot of integrity, Gemini. Um, so... Now it's time to kind of come out of the funk a little bit, move things around, make your words um, match your actions. And uh, the emperor, emperor is here to remind you of your greatness. And it does look like you have started something um, that you are exalted in. So you may be the boss of something. You might have gotten a promotion. Uh, but it does look like um, taking the reins of some sort of leadership in a new way. The Ten of Wands is here. It does feel like whatever this new responsibilities are have put an extra burden on you. It is only a temporary burden until you get things rolling. This can be a new business, new partnership, new job. I'm feeling this is on the, on, on the line of making money or businesses, collaborations, things like that. But it does feel like a like you bit off a little bit more than you can chew right now. Just take one thing at a time till resolution. And, you know, this this very heavy load will lighten over time. But it does feel like the new agreement, the new thing you roll you've just stepped into is a little heavy on you right now. The juggle is very heavy. The juggle and the struggle is real. So the fool is here and it does feel like you might have... Um, might be questioning whether you made the right choice in this uh, alignment, in this new endeavor. Um, you want to make sure that you did not make a foolish choice. But it also stands for taking a leap of faith. Um, you are very capable of handling multiple things at multiple times. I've never met another sign that can multitask like Gemini. You guys can make dinner, have a baby on your, your hip, carry a full conversation, and correct homework work all at the same time. Um, so even though it feels like it's a heavy load right now, um, no, it doesn't feel like it's a mistake. You may have to allocate certain aspects of this new endeavor to other people, um, you know, kind of um, release certain responsibilities that aren't as necessary for you and hand them over to others. So delegate, it feels like delegation is super important. You can't do it all, Gemini, even though you try. You try to do it all, but you really cannot do it without some help. And it does look like you are creating some trusted people to help you out with that. The King of Wands, he's an exalted figure. He speaks the truth. He's into action and movement and being in integrity. It's right along this same line. It may be a business partner. It may be a family member, but it's somebody that you can delegate and you can trust. It does feel like it has something to do with money. So choose very wisely. Make sure it's someone that um, um, it has always presented as honest and in, and in integrity with you. Um, the nine of wands is here. You've had to leave some things behind, some projects behind, but it's like you're taking one last look. Did I make the right decision? Is this the right step to go um, forward in? There's a lot of orange in this uh, reading, so it looks like you're healing yourself. You're getting much more confident in your choices in business and in your own personal 
matter. And it does look like you are reorganizing not only your business life, but your personal life as well. Some things have lessened. Um, it does feel like some financial obligations are, are ending. So you were able to jump into a new endeavor. Um, this could be, you know, kids graduating from high school or college or finally paying off that medical bill. But it does look like you have been able to reallocate some funds to this new endeavor and that you're looking back just you know checking the boxes to make sure you've got everything right before you go either into partnership or you start allocating to others as i said the king of wands is usually is a fire sign aries leo sagittarius it does not necessarily dictate a female or a male but it is someone of great integrity and someone that you trust that action that does what they say they're going to do doesn't just give you fluff and it does look like that had been a problem maybe with other folks that you're either working with or collaborating with or within your personal life their words don't match their actions so whoever this person is that you entrust with these responsibilities is someone that you have a good record with that they say what they do and do what they say so the basis of all this is a page of swords pages can be messages they can be children this is um, but this can be news of problems or difficulties. Um, it could relate to a young person that is having problems or difficulties, but this feels like a hidden, a hidden problem that has to do with this new endeavor, with this new thing that's, that things will be revealed in time. Um, and they may feel a little burdensome to you, but it's nothing that you can't handle. You are very capable, Gemini, but it does look like you may find out little problems here and there on this new endeavor. The sun is here. This is the new endeavor. So yes, I do believe that it will be to do with either this business, this collaboration, this um, new department that you that you're embracing something new. But the sun is at the higher echelon card. It's a, a karma card. So you are exactly where you're supposed to be. You are very capable. Now it's time to take some of those bright ideas and really put them into motion. It does feel like a lot of change is coming that you will be initiating and there may be a little bit of stubbornness to the changes. So you may have to kind of force your will a little bit or wait it out until some folks get on um, get on with it. Um, but it does feel like changing things up from the old ways of doing things will be more beneficial and financially rewarding for you. The two of wands is here, finding your balance, finding your balance with action, kind of waiting things out, taking a look at how things are, leaving some things behind, um, simplifying your life a little bit, even though it does look like you just jumped into something complex. But this may be on the personal level. You may be walking uh, past some chaos that doesn't really work for you anymore, um, allowing folks to fall that you have carried for quite a while, Gemini. But the two of wands is really trying to find your balance, not only from the inside to the outside, but trying to find a balance mod uh, body, mind and spirit. Um, you know, the juggle between work and home life. But it does look like reprioritizing and actually physically walking away either from someone or some behavior that no longer works for you. The culmination card in all this is the five of swords. This also can be quite uh, the tumultuous card. This could be a bit argumentative, um, but it does look like you need to clear the air with someone, set a new tone of things, set a new way of doing things in collaboration with people. Um, so it does look like you're plucking ideas uh, from folks, but the changes will not be um, readily uh, embraced it feels like so you may have to um, make those changes anyway even if people are kind of balking at the changes um, so it may be switching from one job to another and your family is not feeling secure in that um, or you know 
changing up some behavior that doesn't work for you anymore. Um, but yeah, it does look like a little bit of difficulty getting it off the ground. So do be um, diligent. The strength card is here. Um, you know, strength with purpose is great. Strength with ego is not. So make sure that um, you're coming from a place of love, understanding, and kindness as you exert your authority, not from an ego space. It does look like you are trying to maintain your balance. It does look like you are um, entering in something that you are destined for. This destiny or the infinity sign is lighting up for me, but it does feel like you're embracing your leadership, not really knowing how that's going to look, um, but embrace your strength and it will be shown to you as you um, conquer each challenge. So to the right of you is the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups is walking away from something that once brought you comfort and walking into the unknown. Well, it does look like you are walking into something you do know about, um, but you'll have to make some changes. It does look like you may have to revisit some of the things that you thought were done and over with, um, but it only looks like it's a temporary thing. It needs like one final piece of the puzzle and then you can start checking off these things as being done. But something you thought was done and over with is kind of revisiting you in the month of September. Okay, Gemini, that is your general reading for the month of September. I'm going to throw a couple of the chakra cards. They're one word cards and they kind of just bring it on home. What's going on? And I'm just going to pick that one. Trickery. So if you're signing any agreements, make sure you read everything. If it sounds like it's jive, it is. Um, it may seem like a small issue at the time is presented, but it does feel like with this fire of trickery, it will become large if you don't put a stop to it. So if someone tells you something and it feels like jive, it is. Please trust your intuition and soulmate so it does look like either you're making some changes on soulmate or you're opening your heart to embrace a soulmate or upgrading the current relationship you have with your soulmate um, so it does look like you are ready to open your heart a little further that you've been kind of floating a little bit in the love sector even if you are in a committed relationship it does look like you will be taking a step up a little farther in your growth together and for those of you that don't have a relationship it looks like you're ready for one and for those of you that are in one that um, doesn't work for you you'll be releasing that to um, better your heart <laughs> 